closer in combat, the Coles Quantum Optical Radar Unit detects targets through an infrared heat-seeking channel and a laser rangefinder. The heat seeker can detect targets flying in the rear hemisphere behind the aircraft up to 10 miles away. Once the heat seeker pinpoints a target, the laser rangefinder then measures the range to an accuracy of between 1,000 and 13,000 feet. The system can lock on to a visible target in two seconds. This infrared and laser technology overcomes the problems of electronic radio interference that hampers traditional radar systems. The MiG's 30-millimeter cannon also relies upon the coal system for accuracy. In a dogfight, the coal system relays complex information to the weapon system computer about angular coordinates, target range, and angular velocity of opponents. The computer predicts where a target will be at any time. Generally, the MiG-29 requires only five to seven rounds of ammunition to destroy a target. Finally, for close-in combat, the helmet-mounted target acquisition system relays data to short-range missile and radar systems. The pilot merely turns his head, catches the target in the helmet sights, and the appropriate system will lock onto the enemy aircraft. The Mikoyan Design Bureau could take great pride as the result of 10 years' work was applauded by aircraft critics throughout the world, not least of which was the Soviet military hierarchy. The MiG-29 is the pride of our industry. Our chief designers worked very hard in producing an excellent plane. It has a very powerful weaponry system and very good flight characteristics. It is so easy to fly. If we compare foreign-made aircraft in the same class, they show up very poorly or less well than compared to the MiG-29. In our opinion, there is no other aircraft in the world that can match it. At this 1988 air show in Britain, the West got its first chance to see for itself. Many analysts believe that the best that Soviet engineers could do was to plagiarize Western designs. But far from lagging behind the West, the Nikoyan Design Bureau had developed a formidable aircraft. Possibly the best air combat and multi-role fighter in the world. At least as maneuverable as the American F-16 and better at high angles of attack. The MiG-29 can fly at Mach 2.2, but land on shorter, rougher airstrips than any similar Western aircraft. Just as the Mikoyan Design Bureau reached the pinnacle of 55 years of creating fighter aircraft, it found itself caught in one of the most dramatic changes of our century, the breakup of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War. without the massive state assistance that it once enjoyed. And as former Eastern Bloc countries move away from Russian dominance, it is without many of its traditional buyers. Now the Bureau faces a much sterner critic, that of the open market. If 
Russia's design bureaus survive, the MiG-29 could usher in a new era in aircraft technology. An entirely new generation of Russian combat aircraft could build on decades of innovative design. But if the bureaus don't survive, then the MiG-29 could stand as a memorial to the greatest and most influential Russian design bureau, created by Nikoyan and Guryevich. The 29 would be the last great Russian combat aircraft. The last MiG. Coming up, break through the brush and go on the hunt. From chilly Alaska to a sweltering Africa, watch out. High action and adventure continues on Wild Discovery. Coming up only on the Discovery Channel. Explore your world. Discover a day in the life of